Ty, you ain't mother Hey guys, welcome to the Flamingo. We just got checked in. Now, we booked the cheapest room available, which was one of their fab rooms. But without even telling us or anything, they upgraded us to a flamingo room, one of their new renovated ones. I'm gonna go over all the price points and comparisons at the end of the video, but first, let me give you a room tour. renovated flamingo rooms feel so modern. They've really updated things, it feels really clean, and I'm loving all the decor and all of the flamingos. Flamingos. Flamingo. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a bigger fire than the red room. actually does come with a mini fridge and on the website it said that they don't have mini fridges so it was a nice little surprise. We have a lot to do today. We wanna to go down and gamble. There's a new restaurant we're gonna try, a great people watching spot. But first things first, we're pretty hungry and we're gonna go look and see where we can find a cheap lunch. Let's get going. There's actually a food court in the Flamingo and we're gonna see what kind of options they have. Food courts are not exactly cheap inside of hotels, you guys. I got some fried rice and orange chicken with a soda and it was like $18. Mr. Ruby got a slice of pizza for eight bucks. You're honestly better off just going out of your hotel and looking around on the strip because you'll probably find something for a lot cheaper. I really like the casino at the Flamingo, honestly. It is a Tuesday, so it's a little slower in here, but normally this casino is so busy and people are always having a ton of fun. The table games are always packed. They have Bugsy's Bar here in the center. It's just a great vibe and I do really like the selection of the slots and how they have them spread out throughout the casino. We come in here and gamble all the time on our live streams and I have to say it's probably one of my favorite places to gamble. Well, I think it's like anything, but especially with living things like birds. Birds are so easy to observe, they're interesting to watch. And once you start to get to know them, you start to care about them. And it's kind of the first step in caring about the world. Stop to say hi to some of our feathered friends on the way to show you guys the pool area. Back behind the Flamingo Habitat, they do have the monorail station here. It'll take you all the way up and down the strip. And right underneath us is actually Go Pool. Now let me explain something to you guys. The Flamingo main pool is actually a day club. On weekends, kids are not even allowed in this pool area. You can't bring your coffee or drinks in there. There's no smoking in there. And there's not very many free chairs. They do have a lot of paid chairs. So if you're here to party, it is a day club attached to the Flamingo. They do have a smaller pool that's like the family pool, the free pool. It's always full of little kids. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for a relaxing pool area, this really isn't it. Just 
dinner. There are two sit-down restaurants inside of the Flamingo. The really nice upscale Bugsy Myers, super delicious. We've been there before. Pretty pricey. And Carlos and Charlie's. Little more just chill vibe. We were given these fun coupons for buy one get one, either beers, mojitos, or margaritas, but I'm pretty sure you have to get the really, really big ones. I'm not sure if we're quite there yet. <laughs> Sweet, thank you. All right, guys. Our awesome server actually clarified for us, these coupons here are good all day, every day if you get the big ones, but we're in happy hour right now. So we can get any size margarita, any size beers for buy one, get one free, which is awesome. So we just both got a margarita, $12 for two margaritas. That's a really good deal, six bucks each. So these are pretty good. I'm happy with it. Also, this guy's really strong. I'm. It's strong. You don't need more than a small. Just finished up at Carlos and Charlie's. So the food was good. The service was good. It was expensive. And honestly, I think I can get that kind of Mexican food at home. I would pass unless you do want to just get some really good drink deals and maybe some chips and salsa. Not a bad place to sit down and enjoy a cocktail. I'm almost done with this, which means it's time for another drink. Bird bar. Going to the bird bar. Bird bar. I've said it once and I'll say it again. The Flamingo is definitely a party hotel and the bird bar is basically the center of that. They did used to offer 50 cent beers, which is crazy. Unfortunately, they don't offer that anymore. My Peroni is still delicious either way. They do actually have some beer pong tables inside and we may catch a game. Well, it was a close game, but Mr. Ruby ended up taking the victory. Now we are sitting on the outside patio of Bird Bar, widely considered the best people watching on the strip. Hello. It's a great place to sit, have a beer, and enjoy the rest of your night. slept like the dead last night. We were so tired. We called it an early night. We were really comfortable, but now it is time to go and find some breakfast. All right, we got our food. I will say, I do think the prices in here all went up by a couple bucks. That seems to be the theme in Vegas lately though. I'm not that hungry, so I just decided to grab myself a bagel and cream cheese. Mr. Ruby got like their two egg breakfast platter for like 15 bucks. During busy season, I would make reservations if you wanna eat here. So we've stayed at Flamingo before, but I definitely wanna do some comparisons of the different rooms. So the oldest rooms are the fab rooms. That's what we originally booked. They also have the go rooms, which is like the middle level. We have stayed in those. Those are both the same price. They're about $74 when I checked for this week per night, including everything, resort fees, all that. This room, the Flamingo room that they just upgraded us without us even asking was about $86 a night. There were a few minor issues. One of the lamps, like the light is like real flashy and like, I don't know if they need to change the light bulbs in it. 
and the shower, there was something wrong with the handle and I don't know if that was ruining the water pressure, but the water pressure was really not good. But otherwise, the room was really nice, our bed was very comfortable and the TV is like brand new, so that's great. This is definitely the best of the Flamingo rooms and it's not that much more expensive. It definitely feels new and renovated. Uh, we did go and check out the buffet and the buffet's been closed going on two years here. I don't think it's coming back, you guys. I'm wondering if maybe Caesars is gonna start renovating this property and putting new dining in. It kind of seems that way. We didn't do super well gambling here, but I really like the casino. It's a fun one to gamble in. I think the Flamingo is a fun option. I really like this property. It's an old property, it's been here forever. I think that for this price point, this is a really good choice for some people. If you're here for like a partying fun time in Vegas, I don't really know that this is like the relaxing option necessarily, but I think most people would enjoy the Flamingo and I definitely will be coming and staying again. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys all in my next review. Thank you.